Welcome back, I'm Mike, and you better buckle up. We're gonna talk about lockup torque converters today. On this installment of Quick Flicks, we're gonna address a question that we had on our previous torque converter video. And the question was, is, uh, what about lockup converters? Um, I think a lockup converter in comparison to a standard converter is a little mysterious and the fact that it does operate a little differently than the standard torque converter does. Um, for most of us that have been building muscle cars or street rods, uh, for the most part if we were using an automatic transmission we were using the standard three speed automatic in a lot of these applications and, and most three speed automatics use a standard non-lockup converter. Uh, this means that you're going to have a percentage of loss throughout the drivetrain with that type of converter because that converter does not have a lockup device in it. Uh, and that's always kind of been the downfall to an automatic transmission in any vehicle is the fact that you have somewhere between a, a 5 to 10 percentage drivetrain loss of power um, throughout that assembly. Whereas in comparison, if you go to a transmission that has a lockup converter in it, um, you get that full transfer of power once the lockup piston engages inside that converter. This is becoming more and more relevant in builds today because more and more people are building vehicles for not just performance but for fuel mileage as well and so that they can go ahead and, and use more aggressive gearing on the street and they need that extra overdrive gear, um, gear set in that transmission. We're seeing this mostly in the automatic overdrive world um, where, where those transmissions require a lockup converter to operate correctly. What's happening with a lockup converter is, is that once that transmission senses a certain mile per hour or a certain RPM, it's going to go ahead and engage a lockup piston that's actually going to be on the back side of the converter against the turbine assembly. You'll notice that on the input shaft assembly on that automatic overdrive transmission, you will not have the standard uh, two shafts that you've seen, but there's actually going to be a third shaft that's real small that is going to be the engagement unit for that piston assembly inside that converter. The benefits to this, for the most part these days, is, is that you have the ability to have a vehicle that maybe is fairly aggressive on the street, has, um, but has some race car manners at the same time. And what it does for you is that once it reaches a certain speed, it locks that piston up and now you get better fuel mileage, um, and at the same time the vehicle doesn't seem like it has as aggressive gearing in it, um, and things of that nature. As seen in this image, you'll notice that a lockup converter looks very similar to that of a regular non-lockup converter. It still maintains the standard impeller, turbine, and stator assembly, but it's also going to add a lockup piston device to go ahead and put it into lockup mode when necessary. Hopefully this video will help clear up any questions you may have had about how lockup torque converters operate. Feel free to leave comments or questions on any of these videos. See you soon. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com backslash Summit Racing. Or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Summit Racing Equipment.